the Supreme Court will soon hand down some big decisions that could really affect us all. Yeah, so here to talk about major cases on the high court docket is Professor Josh Blackman from South Texas College of Law. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. So tell us, what are some of the big decisions we're waiting to hear about from the Supreme Court? The court will hand down a couple big cases tomorrow concerning affirmative action, student loan debt, uh, 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 gay rights, and a couple other issues, some really big cases left over. All right, we know that the affirmative action case is getting a lot of attention. Can you tell us more about that situation? Uh, this is a challenge to the practice of both public and private schools. The plaintiffs have argued that these schools are discriminating against Asian American students and they're requiring them to have higher test scores than some other minorities such as African Americans and Hispanic students. Uh, the Supreme Court very well might hold that the universities are doing something wrong, or the court might surprise everyone and say, no, things are fine, keep it as they are. Uh, I don't like making predictions on TV, but uh, I think we should stay tuned until tomorrow. All right, mm -hmm. student loans, another big one. So what can we expect? And talk about the impact that this could have. This one will have very broad impact on a lot of people with student debt. Uh, the Biden administration has said that due to the COVID pandemic, they're going to forgive billions and billions of dollars of student debt. Um, now, people say, yay, isn't that great, right? Well, the state of Missouri and at least one student loan debt holder sued, saying that this policy is illegal. Uh, I suspect the court will probably say, well, maybe the policy is legal, maybe it's not, but no one's being injured by the policy, right? This is relieving debt, and because no one's being injured, the courts really can't address it. So I think, again, Biden might win this one. What about the case involving LGBTQ plus rights and free speech? What could the impact of that be? Uh, this case concerns a website designer who doesn't want to make a website for a same-sex wedding. What's curious is that no one's ever asked him to actually make this website, uh, but she still objects to building this website in general. I think the website designer will probably prevail and the court will hold that building a website is protected speech and the state can enforce its discrimination law in violation of the free speech clause of the First Amendment. And, you know, they just ruled on an election law. What happened there and what does their decision mean moving forward? Uh, this case is a bit complicated, but at bottom it means that state courts have the power to review decisions by state legislatures regarding election law. So if the um, uh, a state legislature draws a map, a district map, that turns out to be, to be invalid, uh, the state courts can, say, draw a new map. Uh, there was an argument that the state courts had no power to do that. Uh, this could have an impact on the 24 election uh, in that the state legislatures can't just, you know, award their electoral votes to Donald Trump, even if the voters perhaps go the opposite direction. So the case was narrow, but also I think was quite broad. Well, obviously, we've talked about a lot of different cases going on here, and there is a lot. Any idea when we'll start getting some information back and, and find out what's going to happen with each of these? That's tomorrow? Uh, we'll know uh, 10 Eastern, 9 Central tomorrow. Uh, that's when the court finishes its cases for the year, and hopefully all of our questions will be answered. All right. Well, thank you so much. Again, Professor Josh Blackman joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you.